In Wolfram's exhaustive study of elementary cellular automata and other one-dimensional cellular automata, he organized the behaviors that he found into four different classes. Class one, almost all initial configurations relax after a transient period to the same fixed configuration. A transient period is a period before the cellular automaton settles down into an attractor-like pattern. In class two, almost all initial configurations relax after a transient period to either a fixed point or a periodic attractor, but which one depends on the initial configuration? Class three, this was, for instance, our rule 30, almost all initial configurations relax to a chaotic behavior, where here the term chaotic refers to apparently unpredictable space-time behavior. And it can be shown to be analogous to the kinds of chaos we saw in the logistic map. More on that a little later. And finally, class four. Some initial configurations result in complex localized structures, sometimes long-lived. Again, the example of this from rule 110, where the idea is that these long strands or filament looking patterns, which are sometimes called particles, are localized, that is, they are in a local small neighborhood, and they live for a long time. So that's class four. Let's stop here for a quick quiz.